Welcome to Journeying into Joy, a Women World Leaders podcast. I am your host, Carrie Christopher. It is our hope that through these trio of podcasts, you will experience God's extravagant love and your exquisite purpose. May your heart be refreshed by His grace today, and may you walk away from this podcast being completely immersed in the presence of His love. I'll begin with a letter of encouragement. Precious one, my own heart has failed this week, giving in to desperate lies and a fearful panic of the what ifs, the what wills, and the not nows. So I write to you, sister, this letter, not out of a strength, but rather a divine weakness. For even our divine weakness, the places that we think can't be used for great glory is a place where God resurrects and says he can. I am sure that there are some of you who have wrestled with circumstances this week and in the wrestling of your flesh or your earthly emotions as you labored in a tumultuous turmoil of how God could use an impossible situation to glorify himself and to build you up when all you really felt was a tearing down. And in the tearing down came a challenge. You, sister, could stay here in this dark place of despair and doubt, or you could rise. You could rise off in your bed of lament and grasp for his hope-filled heart. Where the spirit is, there is freedom not shackles of chained unbelief, not despair, not hopelessness, not a crippling effect. God's spirit causes the lame to walk. Your feet shall tread triumphantly on your foes, and the ringing and reigning hope of the faithfulness of God shall meet you in your every need. Even when those around you taunt you with their callous gestures of apathy or when the stones of opposition are trying to silence you. Rise up, daughter of the Lord. God's people will not be silenced. Do not let the enemy snare you to think that your situation is permanent or forever. This is a season of refining, faithful one. And your faith will be made stronger and bolder. You will rise up with his spirit of victory over every trial, over every circumstance. A banner of love written over every one of your loved ones. The pain will not lead you with the shackles it promises but rather your great mighty shepherd of peace provides for you. But there's always a but. You have to let him lead you. You have to let him heal you to reestablish you. It takes a humble submission. Would you join me in employing, imploring God for the impossible? Would you put down your arrows against the Lord's providential plans? And would you lie in fields of grace with me, knowing that those who love God, all things will work together for good. Knowing that his love for you is stronger than the forces of hell against you. Resist the enemy and he shall flee from you. Today you are loved, tomorrow you are loved, and forever you are held in a position of authority. Rain clouds of grace showering upon you and held by a God who will never let you go. Penned in his love, your sister, your friend, his daughter, Carrie. Now, sister, 
I will share a writing with you to bolster your faith. Grace wins, not once, not twice, all the time. The grace giver never fails, but instead offers a river of gracious greeting, welcoming the sinner saint to his altar of eternal forgiveness. This unfailing grace strikes down like a flood and washes away every entanglement of sin and every seething strap of sorrow. The giver of grace greets you today, ready to lavish you with overflowing love and mercy. Would you stand or kneel at his door with compelling confession? Would you entrust your heart to him so he can rapidly receive and return grace to those around you? For those who withhold grace stand in dry and weary lands, having no rest in the Father's heart. The light arranged arrow to our hearts today is contrary to the world's wonders and ideologic threads. We stand in kingdom's time, in his domain of light, life giving freedom. Those that continually come to the wealthy well of grace to receive the outpouring which he promises will in turn be overflowing with the gracious goodness of God, his grace and majestic love. For his word calls us to repentance, action, repentance as an action. James 4, 8 Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. The shepherd stands at the door and knocks, sister, allowing you to open your heart. Unforgiveness causes a heart to harden, allowing bitter roots to spring up and choke out the Spirit of God. Laying dangerous depths of snares for our hearts, our feet, and our lives unforgiveness binds us, blinds us to the miracles of the giver of grace and grants us inactive, feeble faith left hungry and thirsty. Faith that lies dormant and unawakened. Unforgiveness allows bitter critical jabs to surface from pain and suffering and determines a dam of destruction. Women of wandering, those off far from his presence, I implore you to enter into his healing haven of grace. Confess your sin and rebellion towards a faithful God who calls you near. Be filled with grace. Grace-fueled love of Christ to pour into others, producing life-giving, saturating forgiveness. Let the giver of grace be your faith friend to lead you to rivers of his delight. Dare to step into his light and unload monstrous mountains of marred and forgiveness? Release this to feel his power-filled, enriching presence. The dove delights in the depths of his children, communing in cultivating compassion, echoing all he has taught us through his Son. Matthew 6.14 For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Feast on forgiveness, on the multifaceted presence of God, your God, your risen hope. Now I pray for you, sister. Father God, we live in a world where we feel justified to hold onto wrongs committed against us, where we cling to pain-filled, fiery darts, rather than your arms that hold us. Would you, Father God, help us to release the pain that we carry, surrendering every offense? Would you help us, Jesus, to be gospel extensions of your grace and mercy at every turn? Would we, Jesus, be like the father of the prodigal son, fully forgiving, a giver of grace? Give us grace to give. Give us a longing to come in the alignment with your Holy Spirit's will of pure love and devotion to you, ultimately overflowing to others. Jesus, we beg you for a revival of our hearts, where you are first above all else, above our fears, doubts, and laments. 
Jesus, resurrect our souls from the pit. I pray for those who are listening who need salvation, who have never tasted the giver of grace. I pray now your love to intersect their souls with overflowing, forgiving grace. I pray for those who are tired, weary, hurting, and broken. Show them, Jesus, that you will carry their burden, that you have carried all the sin in this world to the cross and defeated it once and for all. I pray for those who are complacent complacent and stagnant, lured by various idols. Tear down these idols of their hearts for their good, for your glory, and bring them closer to you. Hold your daughters, Papa God, and lead us to grace lands of pure, enriching love. It's in Jesus' name we pray, by power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening to Women World Leaders Podcast. Join us each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as we explore together God's extravagant love and your courageous purpose. Visit our website at www.womenworldleaders.com to submit a prayer request, register for an upcoming event, and support the ministry. From his heart to yours, we are Women World Leaders. All content is copyrighted by Women World Leaders and cannot be used without expressed written consent.